Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are going to be looking at the Huawei Nova 3. This is a device that I've been using for about a month now and I really like it and I want to tell you guys why. So this phone has been performing really well for me on just everyday life. Uh, my experience with it has been great. Um, as you guys know, I, when I mentioned in the first video, and I'll put some more information in the description so you can see all the specs, uh, it has a Kirin 970 under the hood and it performs really well for everyday life. Um, obviously it's not, as, it's not the fastest uh, CPU, the fastest chipset out there, but it's plenty good for anything you throw at it. I haven't had any situation where I've been doing multitasking or anything like that and I'd be like, man, this phone is slow. The contrary, it's been performing really well for me in that department. So we did do some endurance, some torture testing on the battery for this phone. The test consists of, we take it from 12 noon with full charge and then we see how far it goes. Uh, if it gets to 12 midnight, then we'll just record w what battery level it has at that point. Some phones don't get all the way to 12 midnight. Uh, the Poco phone, for example, did get, to, did get to 12 midnight. This phone in particular uh, got all the way, the last recording was at 9.05 p.m. At 9.05 p.m. we were at 5% battery life. And in this case, we got eight hours and a half of screen on time, which is actually a very good number. Uh, if you guys remember on the Poco phone, we got 10 hours and a half, which is exceptional. This eight hours and a half, good results. So obviously after we did the battery test, we drained the batteries, then we went ahead and tested the charging time. Uh, as you guys know, it has a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 on, on here. In an hour, we went all the way from 5% to around 70%. So that's a, that's a delta, that's a difference of 65%. So you'll see anyway be, between 60 to 65%. So in half an hour, you might get to 30 to 40%. So that's what you're going to see in the charge time, which is adequate. So the next topic that I wanted to touch on is the cameras. Uh, again, this device has uh, dual cameras in the front and in the back, and the cameras are really exceptional on this device. I had a really good time using the cameras in here. I taken many videos and pictures. Uh, quickly, let me go over the specs of the camera so you guys know. The back or main camera is a 60 megapixel uh, camera and it has the second camera is a 24 megapixel black and white camera it's a monochrome camera which is mostly used for depth sensing and other stuff like that uh, in the front you're gonna have a 24 megapixel main camera with a 2 megapixel sensor the cameras uh, have a ai feature on them and it has a bunch of really cool features some of them are neat some of them you're probably not going to use or not like but they're there and we're going to talk about them uh, the main feature of the AI camera is that when you're taking a picture of somebody or a person, it'll say portrait, it'll detect that it's a person, and then it'll adjust the settings so it takes a good picture for when you're taking a picture of a person. If I'm taking a picture, let's say, of this plant over here, I go like this, it detects automatically it's a plant, and I take the shot, and it makes the adjustment for the plant. Um, the future is really cool, it typically gets what you're looking at right so that's a plus but in my opinion for example when i do the plan it really makes the greens really bright and it kind of blows out a little bit of the detail so it's good and bad i guess for the most part i like it and i use it but if you want to take off the ai future in the camera you just hit this button here and that's it ai future is gone so at least you get the option to take it off and it's really easy to take off um some of the other features on it, it's the AR lens where you can have like an animal and it'll look at your face and it'll mimic your movements and your mouth and eyes, which is kind of neat. Um, it's similar to the iOS iMessage thing that Apple has, which is kind of cool. It also has a whole bunch of other effects in it, which are... Yeah, this type of thing, <laughs> whatever that is. Um, yeah, I don't use any of that, obviously. Uh, stop it. No, no. So some of the other features in the camera are, you know, they has the pro mode, 
which allows you to basically do whatever you want manually. It has a bunch of settings, the ISO settings, the aperture settings. It has a million settings. It's basically what you will see if you're using like a DSLR camera or something like that. It has a slow mode uh, version uh, for the video. I think it can do all the way down to 480 frames per second, which is fairly good. It has a night mode. The night mode is gonna, similar to what you've seen in the Pixel 3, it lets you take pictures of really low light uh, situations without having to use the flash. Panorama, monochrome, uh, light painting, I don't know what that is. HDR, time lapse, uh, filters, 3D panorama, watermark, document scan. Document scan is a cool one. I use that all the time when I have like a receipt from a restaurant or something like that. I just take a picture of it with the document scan and it basically automatically crops it so you only see the receipt in the picture, which is actually pretty useful. I really like it. Now, it, the other feature that this phone has is the face unlock, as uh, I mentioned earlier, and I would say that that works really well. It detects it really well, it works in low light, and it's really quick actually. Like, I can go like that, boom, boom. Boom. It's pretty quick and I really like it. Sometimes if the angle is weird or something, it might not work. Like even that time it worked there. Or if I do it like this, it might do recognizing face for a second, but it still does it. If you do the face unlock, when you record your face, you're not wearing glasses and then you try to do it with glasses, obviously that's not gonna work. That's gonna be a failure. So make sure if you all the time are wearing glasses, you record your face with glasses, or if you use only sometimes wear glasses, don't record your face with glasses. So going back to the software and the settings, uh, there's a lot of really good features in here. Usually what I do is when I want to do something specific, I just use the search uh, option here on top uh, because there is a crazy amount of features and settings in here. But I'm just going to go quickly over a few of them that I think are really cool. You have you can set up gestures in here, so you can take off the, the toggle, the back and home theme buttons in there, and then you can control everything with gestures. So you have, have their brightness and automatic brightness. Um, you have color mode and temperature. That's a really cool one. So in here, you can kind of customize it to what looks better to your eyes. I know some people like it more like this way. It's kind of like a little bit more yellow, it's more natural. I like this one that's a little bit more blue, more clean. Uh, you can also set it up like this, cold, warm, or default. And then you can even, with your finger, drag it around and kind of set it up, customize it to your liking. So that's pretty cool. Uh, some other things, there's a whole bunch of different options for wallpapers. You can randomly change through wallpapers if you have like a bunch of different wallpapers. Uh, there's some options for the notch where you can uh, hide the notch with just a black bar, uh, whatever. I, I don't mind the notch, so I leave it like that. It has this option that's like the smart uh, screen resolution. What it'll do is if you're low in battery, it'll change the resolution to like 720p or something like that to consume less battery. So that's kind of cool. Auto rotate, obviously, you know what that is. From here, it'll rotate to portrait, uh, to, I mean to landscape and then back to portrait. And then there's the smart rotate feature, which is really awesome. What it'll do is it's basically the same as auto rotate, but it'll follow the orientation of your face. It'll use the camera in the front to follow the orientation of your face. So if you're like laying down on your side and then you turn the phone, it'll stay in that uh, portrait mode because your face is oriented in that way as well. So that's uh, that's pretty neat feature. Uh, don't go so dark. Okay. If I'm here, in a web page or anything like that and I press with two fingers like that it'll do this thing where it uses the Amazon uh, assistant and if there's any products on the screen it'll give you their prices and their listing and you can just go and buy them I guess so that's pretty neat uh, the other feature here is the one-handed UI so basically if you go here and you scroll like that it'll create like a little small screen that you can obviously manage to use it with just one hand. So if you have smaller hands or whatever, then you can do this and then you can, you know, control it with just one hand. And then to go back, you just do that. So that's pretty neat. That's just a little quick look at some of the settings. It has a whole bunch of other settings. It has a bunch of customizations. 
So that's really cool and it gives you that feeling of like uh, when you're using a custom ROM where you have a lot of uh, customization, you can do themes, you can change the color, uh, the colors and the temperatures of the colors. You can do a lot of things. So that's, uh, that gets some really good high marks from me when it comes to customization and settings and features. So going back to software and some of the features of the phone, uh, one of the good things of this phone versus um, a lot of the China phones coming out, uh, they have a limitation where you're not going to be able to stream uh, Netflix uh, in high definition. So that's a, that's a problem. With this phone, you're not going to have that problem. And I'll show you that now. So I install an app here called DRM Info. And right here where it says Widevine CDM, we have Widevine CDM Security Level L1. So that's the biggest factor right there. If you have uh, the security level L3, then you're not gonna be able to do uh, Netflix on high definition. This one, out of the box, it has a security, the security patch of L1, so you're good to go. So we have uh, uh, high definition content on Netflix in here. So that's a uh, thumbs up. The Pocophone, for example, uh, has a wide bind security certification L3 which means that you're not going to be able to see high definition content on Netflix and other streaming apps like uh, Amazon videos and stuff like that so good okay guys so we're gonna go over the pros and the cons of this device to give you a better idea if is this a device for you or not if it's a pass or a buy uh, quickly, the pros is pretty much everything I already went over in the video, but I'm gonna go over some of the highlights and some of the strong points. Camera, exceptional, very good camera on this device, I really like it. Uh, features, great, I went over that in the video, a bunch of settings, a bunch of customization, some really cool features, so that's also really good. The performance on this device is really good. Uh, it has a Kirin 970 um, CPU on the device. It's been able to do everything I throw at it on a daily basis. So I have no complaints in that department. Next uh, is the battery life on this device. It's really good. Uh, again, it'll get you through the day, no problems. Another good pro on this device is the expandable memory. So, you know, you're going to be able to throw in a 128, even a 256 gigabyte memory card on that, and then you're gonna be good to go. So that's great. Uh, the fact that we get Netflix on high definition right off the bat, that's perfect. Guys, another uh, pro for this device that we forgot, that's kinda why we're in a different set, is that this is a real global phone. And what I mean by that is, you're not gonna have any problem with the US carriers and you know having to change carriers or figuring out whether this device is compatible for me or not. You, are you gonna get LTE? Most likely you will. Unlike other phones like the Pocophone, if you remember where LTE was eh, hit or miss, that's not gonna happen with this phone, so thumbs up. Okay guys, so now for the negatives. What one the cons. Uh, let's start with what's not in here, and that is NFC. So I know that could be a deal breaker for some of you out there, uh, if you're really into the whole Android Pay thing where you pay with your phone and thing, you're not going to be able to do that with this device. So no NFC. Uh, another negative in here is the operating system. So like I told you before, we're an Android Oreo in this device. No Android Pie on it yet. Uh, again, the update is supposed to be rolling out right now, uh, but we don't have it, so we got to go by what we have right now. Uh, and then, you know, we got to list it as a negative. So that's a con. The operating system, not in Android Pie. Last but not least, we have the Bluetooth version on this. Um, this thing is rocking a Bluetooth 4.2 LE. The latest version of Bluetooth is 5.0. With 5.0, you're gonna have more features, uh, one of which is you're gonna be able to cast sound, like music or whatever, to two Bluetooth devices at the same time. So if you wanna you know, share your music with somebody and you wanna cast it to two headsets or something like that, whatever, you can do that. We're not gonna be able to do it with this device. Other things are performance related. Uh, 5.0, Bluetooth 5.0 has better range and better through output 
So that's really the three things that I can list as negatives that may drive you away from this phone and make it a pass for you. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the review of the Huawei Nova 3. Um, again, we really appreciate you guys tuning in and we want to hear from you guys. Let us know if this, uh, you like this type of phones and this type of content. Uh, give us a like if you like the video or give us a thumbs down not two thumbs just one thumb down if you didn't like the video and you know leave, let us know in the comments what we can do better uh, we really appreciate you guys tuning in and subscribing don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you next time